We're so happy to be back in Portugal. This is where I was raised. And many of my favorite places are actually in the countryside. So I'm excited to bring Jilly to some of these places just outside of Lisbon on our way up to our friend's farm in the north. If you are coming to Lisbon and you want to experience the Tejo River countryside without traveling too far, then we're going to show you two amazing spots that barely any tourists visit. We made it to the countryside of Portugal, flew into Lisbon and drove straight out of the city so that we could be in more rural, small towns. So we've just been traveling for about 24 hours. We haven't slept for about 35 hours. We chose an Airbnb right in the heart of a little downtown of this small Portuguese town in the countryside. Little did we know, right outside of our window tonight, they're having a concert. It just turned 9 p.m. and it hasn't even started yet. So this party is going to be rolling all night and I have a feeling we will not be sleeping. So we chose this town as the first place to stay after flying into Lisbon. We had just been traveling for over 30 hours. We wanted somewhere small, peaceful. This beautiful medium-sized town has this gorgeous, huge park cafes and restaurants, our Airbnb is right across the street. It's the perfect stop right when you fly in if you want to get out into the countryside. It was like an hour to drive here. This is the Airbnb that we stayed in the first night. Dane, what town are we in? Vila Nova de Barquinha. And how was the concert last night right outside our window? It was incredibly loud, but somehow we managed to sleep through it. I don't know how. Like we didn't even wake up once. And it was loud in our ears. I, I felt asleep in like two minutes. I definitely woke up a few times, but it really, we were so jet lagged that we didn't really notice it. just us and one other couple here at this gorgeous castle and I think that that's one of the most amazing things about being out in the rural countryside of Portugal is that nobody's here. This is Castelo de Amaral in Portugal. Like many of the Portuguese castles, it has a history that stretches back through a surprising amount of eras. What's unique about it is that it's on a rocky towering mountain surrounded entirely by the waters of Tetejo. So as you can imagine in history that would have been an incredibly strategic location uh, defend, to defend against invaders. right now. If you haven't heard of that supermarket in Portugal, we think it's the best. Super cheap bread that they make daily there and pastries and just a really good selection of cheeses and yogurt. So I'm gonna go try and find one. This Alamal Beach, they have this whole place for free camping. It's loads of different terraces that you can set up a tent on for free, and I guess there's even some beautiful shaded terraces down by the river. 
So it's a pretty amazing place that they just allow you to come and stay. And then there's this fresh spring water pool, which it's not super clean right now, but it's still amazing. So nice to be able to jump in and clean off. This is a spring coming off the mountain, feeding this pool. And Castello de Belved in the background. What did you make for lunch, Jane? Wild fig with cheese on a nice Portuguese bun. Yum. Path. It starts at the cafe right on the beach and I think it goes really far.